Well, hi guys. It is finally a pleasantly cool spring day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization, the rapidly escalating collapse of global industrial civilization. Here on Friday, March 27th, uh, 2020, and my name is Sam Mitchell. This is my little co-pilot, Santo Banza. And this is Collapse Chronicles. Make sure you guys understand you are now tuned in to Collapse Chronicles. This is not Coronavirus Chronicles. Coronavirus Chronicles is that other channel pretty much. So I've just posted my Coronavirus video already. This is the Collapse Chronicles where I do what I do every Friday, and we're going to go over to mongabay.com, uh, check in with Rhett Butler and the boys and girls at mongabay.com as they bring to us their latest weekly laundry list of, you know, just insults against this collapsing planet, uh, this whole series of stories getting absolutely zero mention anywhere on the on the press on the planet i mean these stories manga bay already uh covers stories that nobody else does and uh especially this week unbelievably that manga bay has found some stories while we have the the cardinal singing over the garbage truck I didn't even take my garbage. I just assumed there wasn't going to be any garbage pickup this week. But uh, I guess it is a, an essential service. Excuse me, guys. I got to go. These papers are going to blow off everywhere. What this uh, what this is is my list of passwords. This is every. This isn't even everyone. This is a master list of a few of my computer passwords and I suggest you uh, get one of these yourself so anyway sorry for that interruption but I'm not going to start this rant over all right take it away manga bay and we're going to start in the over there in the collapsing country of Colombia down there in South America National parks pay the price as land conflicts intensify in Colombia. Uh, so what this story is about is uh, they're they're particularly talking about how these the, you know this guerrilla civil war you know I don't think it ever stopped. Uh, cranking back up again and how FARC uh, is setting fires inside national parks in Colombia to grow cocaine to, uh, you know, to finance their guerrilla operations. Uh, and that's not all. Uh, Local sources also suspect small farmers or cattle ranchers also set fires. Uh, you, you know, this just never ends. Uh, satellite data show deforestation is intensifying in at least three national parks and of course the trend is not limited to just these three with a new study finding dramatic increases in deforestation in the majority of Colombia's protected areas and buffer zones. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Uh, And then, of course, you know the the ultimately the ultimate irony around uh, about this is 
so the gorilla. So anyway, so these gorillas are, are, are down there uh, moving into the national parks, but it's actually would be worse if they were not there. Uh, it, it, this is how sick and twisted it's become. Are you following me? That the the gorillas, as bad as they are, are actually keeping the the bigger uh, the cattle ranchers and shit out. There, there, there is no way to win. And on top of everything else, uh, meanwhile, the Colombian government has given the go ahead to petroleum exploration projects in and around two national parks. Uh, you know, guys, and, and, and you can take this story in Colombia and, and go pretty much anywhere with it. Uh, okay, we have a new player, Clear Cutting Rainforest in the world's biggest oil palm project. Yes, there you go. A company owned by a politically connected Indonesian family and an investor from New Zealand has begun clearing rainforest, uh, this is in Papua New Guinea, within an area slated to become the world's biggest oil palm plantation in history. The project will push industrial grade agriculture deep into the primary rainforest of southern Papua. Yes. Uh, there you go. The world's biggest oil palm plantation as the bulldozers move uh, deeper and deeper uh, into the last remaining rainforest on this planet to preserve your God-given right to eat Girl Scout cookies. Although I hear Girl Scout cookie time has officially ended. But that's another rant for another channel. Okay. Uh... Yes, this is talking about the overworked, underpaid, and lonely lives of conservationists. Yep. Uh, it, it is. You know, these, these guys, you read about these conservation, you think self-isolation is, is bad where you are? Uh, anyway. Okay, well, we actually have a coronavirus story creeping in to my Collapse Chronicle story, looking at uh, what it's going to mean to indigenous tribes who, you know, who are whatever you want to say about uh, coronavirus, and you can find a lot more over there on uh, Coronavirus Chronicles. Uh, it, it, it's it's going to be, uh, you know, the indigenous people are uh, getting ready to get hit hard, and I guess they're trying to figure out what it could mean for the great apes. Uh, well, I said this was, you know, I really thought uh, okay, I'm going to go ahead and include this one because this is Manga Bay. Uh, you know, there, there, there's no way to have a non-coronavirus uh, a non-coronavirus rant anymore. It can't be done. But I, I do want to find out. So this is Manga Bay's report on uh, on the threat to apes. National parks in Africa shut and uh, closed down uh, over coronavirus threat to great apes. Uh, wildlife authorities uh, have effectively locked down national parks that are homes to gorillas, chimpanzees, and bonobos amid concerns 
that the coronavirus pandemic could make the jump to great apes. Humans and great apes share more than 95% of the same genetic material. You know, they already get Ebola. Uh, even if the apes avoid coronavirus, the loss of tourism revenue for the parks and potential loss of income for people who work to protect these species could cause enduring damage to conservation efforts, their experts say. Uh, okay, so now nobody knows whether uh, coronavirus can take out great apes, but let's go over back to Brazil where we see yellow fever now uh, uh, attacking Brazil's golden lion tamarin, uh, once critically endangered and, and still endangered due to extremely high levels of poaching, the uh, the golden lion tamarin is now facing a new threat: yellow fever transferred to the monkeys from people via mosquitoes is putting the tamarin's recovery at risk. Uh, the first uh, tamarin death was recorded less than two years ago and since then 32 percent of the population of tamarins has disappeared. Uh, the disease could set back conservation efforts 30 years. Good God, you know, it's just, there's just no way to win. Uh, what's going on in Indonesia? Wow, imagine this one. Indonesia ends timber legality rule stoking fears of illegal logging boom. Indonesia's trade ministry has scrapped a requirement for wood exporters to obtain licenses verifying their wood comes from legal and sustainably managed sources. Uh, there you go. Uh, scrapping, you know, I have never really understood the difference between legal and illegal logging. It just means by legal logging there has been some, I mean a tiny shred of regulation. Uh, but now even that tiny little shred has just been flushed down the toilet. Uh, scrapping the licensing requirement constitutes a major setback. Uh, it could open the doors to more illegal logging. Uh, there you go. Just get rid of any rule on any level stopping the planet eaters. You know, just, 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 just stop with the pretense. And they're just being honest at this point. The, uh, the war is over and the good guys lost, as, uh, as Leonard Cohen was saying 30 years ago. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. Here we have more palm oil news. Let's go over to sub-Saharan Africa to the collapsing country of Gabon. Palm oil giant Olam under scrutiny again over its Gabon plantations. Uh, the World Rainforest Movement says Olam's oil palm operations in Gabon do not meet, do not meet the company's voluntary zero depart deforestation pledge. Uh, Olam says its plantations are fully sustainable. 
Yes. But don't worry, the Forest Stewardship Council is set to investigate the sustainability of the plantations. Okay, guys, one more time. There is no such thing as sustainable palm oil. It is an oxymoron, and the Forest Stewardship Council is almost as big a uh, is almost a a big uh, an oxymoron uh, as uh, sustainably uh, grown palm oil. The Forest Stewardship Council is a greenwashing joke. Anybody who believes this FSC certification uh, means uh, that your whatever uh, wood product doesn't have orangutan blood all over it. Get real, people. Okay. Uh, next. Uh, okay, I'm not. I'm going to try to get through this without mentioning the C word again, but it might be that every story in Manga Bay is about the C word. Anyway. Uh, Okay, what is going, uh, we've, I've been talking about this humongous new uh, seaport being built in Chile. Uh, yep, the debate begins, the port is endangering one of the most biodiverse marine protected areas in the country. Do you think so? All right, here is the hilarious hopium apocalyptimus knee slapper of the week. <clears throat> In race for a sustainable alternative to plastic, Indonesia bets on seaweed. Yes, uh, there you go. Seaweed is going to replace plastic. All right. Uh, what is this? The Ivory Coast. We're going back to Sub-Saharan Africa where new evidence suggests timber from the Ivory Coast mets, merits tougher European trade due diligence. Do you think so? Uh, imagine that. Anyway, more about the C word. Here is the gold, Goldman Prize winning Cambodia, Cambodian activist Arrested, yes. Leading Cambodian forest defender Ouch Ling and three others were arrested in mid-March and questioned after a South Korean company they accused of illegal logging filed a complaint with the police. Yes, the company says the activists were trespassing while the activists say the company is plundering the Prelang Forest. Yes. Uh, they have been released uh, at, as of today, but the activists fear further retribution for their work monitoring economic land concessions near the forest. Do you think so? Here is an article on koalas, the future of koalas uh, as climate change ramps up in, uh, in Australia. I think we got a very good peek into the future of koalas 
with uh, all those thousands of, of charred uh, crispy critters uh, during the bushfire season. Uh, yep. Uh, treating koalas as a flagship species is tricky. Koala losses help convey the magnitude of biodiversity loss associated with fires, but less charismatic species have in fact been far more affected by the fires and there has been far less funding available for them. There you go. Uh, here's a story about a bird you have never heard of, Bolivia's red-fronted macaw. Uh, you can kiss goodbye. Uh, let's see. All right. Uh, you know, this is their, one of the main stories that uh, Manga Bay has been covering the past uh, couple of years is this new hydroelectric dam uh, right in the middle of the last uh, surviving colony of the world's most endangered uh, orangutan. Uh, there you go. Uh, so far, they're somewhat holding off the planet eaters, but just like Bello Monte and Three Gorges and every other one, uh, the dam will go ahead. Uh, you know, the orangutan hu huggers are, are going to fight a valiant battle and blah, 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 but the, you know, these big guns are just going to wait them out. Let's see. More seaward. You know, some of these are good articles about the seaward, but I just refuse to mention the seaward again, uh, which means I'm skipping over half the articles. Well, you will never believe this, guys. We're going to go down to Peru, where we find. Peru uncovers organized crime network laundering illegally mined gold. Imagine that. Uh, <clears throat> uh, organized crime behind uh, illegal gold mining. Never would have thought of that. Uh, okay, let's go over to the Congo Basin. From Peru to the Congo Basin, oil exploration at odds with peatland protection in the Congo Basin. Yes, uh, a new report details an investigation led by NGO Global Witness into the exploration for oil in the world's largest peatlands found in Central Africa's Congo Basin. Uh, the Republic of Congo and the company they licensed to search for, for oil in a block containing more than 2,300 square miles of peatlands. Uh, argue for the right to extract the oil for the benefit of the country, but Global Witness found that the environmental impact assessment for the block uh, is obviously, you know what it is. Uh, anyway, you can kiss goodbye the world's biggest peatlands in the heart of the Congo Basin. 
from the heart of the Congo Basin to the last remaining uh, rainforest in New Guinea to the uh, to the very last uh, tribe of the mo the world's most critically endangered uh, or, uh, orangutans uh, in, in Borneo or wherever that is uh, to some giant seaport in Chile to the uh, to the national parks of Colombia. Oh God! And here we are. Wow, unbridled exploitation. Mining amendments a boon for Indonesia's coal industry. A deregulation bill currently working its way through Indonesia's parliament could ring in unbridled exploitation of the country's coal reserve exports, experts warn. Yes. Uh, observers question whether the Indonesian government will be able to keep the coal industry in check under the proposed changes given its failure to fully enforce environmental obligations under the current laws. Environmentalists also warn of the destruction of entire regions with previously unexploited coal reserves including Papua New Guinea. Let's go over to Sri Lanka where we see a new assessment shows Sri Lanka's amphibians being pushed to the brink. Yes. Uh, in the small country of Sri Lanka, 72 amphibians are now threatened with extinction, and 20 of those are critically endangered. Evaluators identified the rapid loss of cloud forest as the most immediate threat to the island's amphibians. Uh, in recent years, Sri Lanka has already recorded the highest number of amphibian extinctions in the world, highlighting the need for more research and strategies, blah, blah, blah. Uh, though a small Indian Ocean island, Sri Lanka is recognized as an amphibian hotspot with 116 species, 90% of them found nowhere else on Earth. More C-word news. Okay, Let's stay over there in Indonesia. Indonesian activists denounce a new road being built illegally in prime leopard habitat. Environmental activists and residents have demanded, have demanded that a new road project in Indonesia's West Java province be scrapped because it could, it lacks required permits and could exacerbate floods and landslides. The road will cut through a protected forest uh, in, on Mount Chikare, home to Javan leopards and other threatened wildlife. Authorities have admitted they began clearing forests for the project before containing, before obtaining the necessary permits. Yep. Okay. Uh, in case you were unaware of this, tree plantations are not a climate solution. It's such a simple idea. Plant a tree, let it grow, and each year it will capture more and more carbon from the atmosphere. Yes. That is the logic behind a proposal by uh, basically tied to the 
uh, UN, uh, which aims to create more than 185,000 acres of commercial tree plantations and, and calling this, uh, you know, the UN cheering them on. Uh, there's, there's only one problem. The case against this idea is overwhelming. Uh, Arborough's carbon mitigation claims are highly questionable and over, frank, over frankly laughable time scales. Uh, its existing investments already paint a worrying picture of damaging eucalyptus plantations being used to support their BS carbon intensive industries and there is no public accountability to ensure that impacts on communities and biodiversity are avoided. Alright, what is going on with this year's monarch butterfly census in Mexico? Take a wild guess. The number of monarch butterflies wintering in Mexico down by more than half the number of monarchs down by more than half this year. Uh, the survey found that the this one area of forest occupied by monarch butterflies this year was down to just seven acres, a 53% decrease from last year. Uh, yep, yep, yep. A, this is their, you know, their article talking about all of the environmental benefits of the C word. Uh, let's see. Uh, Anyway, guys, uh, good lord, this goes on and on. Uh, anyway, I'm just going to uh, wrap this up here uh, because I realize I'm talking to myself and I predict, as always, this Friday rant, this Friday video from Manga Bay, which I consider to be the single most important uh, video I do every week, is consistently, always has been, the most least viewed, uh, the single most least viewed video of the week, and the least thumbed up video of the week. So uh, if you did I appreciate what Rhett Butler and Manga Bay are doing. Please spend a moment to uh, to up to thumb up this video, and uh, by all means subscribe to Collapse Chronicles while you're over here. And with that, I gotta wrap this up because it has turned into an absolutely beautiful spring day here in the social isolation chamber of Garfield, Texas. And I have to finish up my lawn mowing job from hell. Bye, guys.